Yo, it's the Jib Top Podcast with your boy Mike J. I got Groovy Drew, I got Trav, I got Shell, and today, the first episode of the 2022, 222 year is, today we're talking about Tristan and Chloe's um, drama. We're talking, going to talk about making goods, divorce. We're also going to talk about, shit, is, is it a good time to go back in quarantine? And we're going to talk about Governor Kemp's proposal for the gun laws. So we're going to start off with Tristan and Chloe. Um, but what I'm seeing is that he didn't confess to having a baby and she still took him back. Is that what like the whole case of the matter is right now? Oh, I think so. I ain't really just follow the story, but I think that, that was going what on. Happened? What you say now? With Tristan and uh, Chloe. What was, what was your question? I didn't hear it. I was saying was the whole thing of him just confessing that having a baby with another woman and she's just repeatedly like taking him back. Yeah, basically. So what's your whole take on it? Um, I feel like she... I, like when they, I think, um, what's his name, Andy Cohen? I forgot that guy's name. He was interviewing Chloe, and he was like, "Do do she feel like he, you know, he's gonna do right and he's gonna be faithful?" And she was like, "Well, she think that he was because the way he act, like you know, he was all sorry and apologized, and he seemed sincere." And then he turned around, and then he ended up having a baby on her. And I'm like, she should have seen that on the jump. Like, because they said that when she got with him, he was with his first baby mom. And so, you know, the tables always turn. What goes around comes around, and, you know, karma is a, you know, a, a bitch. bitch. <laughs> he's a typical young athlete and she just should have seen that coming and now she you know out here looking crazy just like the next female mm-hmm. and the whole thing with old girl what's her name um what's that girl name that's college friend I can't even think of her name right Jordan Woods Oh That's yeah, even yeah. for her ass, and she still want to be a family. So that's, that's just yeah. Now you just everybody just talking about us, and it's just like, girl, you should have just just that coming from the get go. Yeah, I think when you that rich, you really gotta um. When you that rich and you up in there. Like, if you're a young NBA player, you might as well not even try to get married because you already know the territory is going to come. Right. All, these, all these IG models going to come after you, and you already know. Hey, every and man, you know you ain't going to be faithful. Yeah. Let's be, let's, let's be honest. Unless you're real faithful and all that, a man, a person going to be more faithful depending on their options. So right, you got right. the whole – you got the half of the population throwing themselves at you. I mean, you're going to fold for somebody. Somebody's going to have that one person they're going to follow. And we said this before on the podcast that they had that one person. They could say, I want to do this. I want to do that. But somebody's going to bend the rules for somebody. Doja Cat. Right. <laughs> yeah, Doja Cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, like, everybody said they want this, they want that. But at the end of the day, Chloe's going to stick, you know, what she, you know, Chloe has that, you know, some insecurities and all that stuff. And you could tell by that. But she act like she can't go find another man. But at the same time, somebody, she, Tristan got that effect on him. And so she, she he's done something. Though. That's all she date is athletes. I mean. Oh, did y'all hear about um, Lamar actually left Taraji for Chloe? Did you see I that? didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, that seen that. The, well, um, but... I think it was on the Shade Room the other day. They uh, showed an interview, like a 2019 interview with Lamar has said he had left Taraji for Chloe. I didn't even know that. I was like, dang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you saw it. 
you got to think that she done did with Lamar. Lamar was out there doing crack and mm-hmm. almost died in a damn sex, a sex on, what was it, a sex wrench with cocaine yeah. and Viagra. <laughs> and she was mm-hmm. about to take him back, and then she went back to Tristan, and Tristan was making sex tapes and having, you know, talking to her best friend and all that shit. I mean... Sometimes you gotta put your oh, foot down. Uh, if you are gonna stick it out with somebody, you might. She should probably just stick it out with his uh, Lamar. Yeah. They were married. Like he, just, like he was trying to redeem himself. Was she going out with Odell Beckham? No, she was talking to uh, James Harden. Oh yeah. Yeah, she talked. She was with James Harden for a minute. She was with um, what's Odell his Beckham. name? Uh, that rapper. Uh, dang, I can't think of nobody name tonight. Uh, what's his name? Um. Yeah, she got a roster, don't she? He went Diddy. Oh, he went Diddy. The French Montana. Um, he dated French Montana before he. They said they actually said he was with Trina first. Then he pretty much oh, left. Yeah. Come here, left boy. personal stuff. He got with Chloe. Well, let me ask y'all this, yeah. and be honest: if y'all had all that money, would y'all be moving around like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. I will. Yeah. I will. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, I'm pretty, yeah. As a female, though, as, as a female, to me, for me, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't be like having sex with different men, but I probably definitely wouldn't like actually like settle. You know what I'm saying? I probably like date around. You know, go on dates and. You know, just not really just try to settle and get married and really just try to be serious because it'll be hard to see who's really there for you when you got money like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially being a woman. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, I mean, if I was a dude, I damn sure wouldn't settle down and not be a young. Hell yeah. And that's what, and you said the thing because they look at men with their, all that money. They'll be like, okay, he he balling, balling. But you got a girl who's a celebrity, but she ain't got no sex tape out. You don't know who she had sex with. Then they still love her. But the first time they come out that she's a bad girl, then they the whole internet turn their back on them or something. They just start. Right, right. Yeah. So they always want to have that image. So that's why you see a lot of, you don't even know what celebrities they hooked up one time for that one time. So and we'd probably be surprised like, oh, shit, for real. So, yeah. What y'all take on it? Um, I don't care. <laughs> Somebody like you, man. Delivery news, shit. I don't, I don't get ready to follow up, uh, follow up. Because I like shit. It is. I be looking at like child lords. It's like, oh, they doing this? Oh, uh, well. I mean, you know, they celebrity. I guess they, you know, they supposed to do the entertain. So I don't just, just follow all the. Celebrity shit. A lot of times mm-hmm. that shit be changed, changed in different. She should have all. It should, like I be mean, people be changing those stories a lot of times. Sometimes it don't really, it don't need to be what it really is, what they say it is. Okay, I can understand that. I was saying like, why do you feel like some women just stay, just go out and get constantly hurt and just stay by their person? Cause comfort, they be comfortable with it, com- comfortability. I mean, mm, that's true. They got an effect on it, but she just, the man just going doing her dirty. Like, well, for her to be rich and famous, she she really didn't have a right to. I mean, she could have, you know, because she was in love with her, but I mean, she could have been found somebody else. Yeah. And for her to just keep going back to his ass and constantly, constantly looking stupid. Yeah. Like future say, it might be true love. Yeah, you better be like J Lo right here. Hell, J Lo plus. She said, "Damn, man, she gonna live her life." Gonna <laughs> <laughs> have well, her a million dollar wedding and everything. J Lo, who she better? She was Bill Affleck. Who? Uh, what's his name? Bill Affleck. J Lo and yeah. Bill Affleck. They had. They probably won't last season. They'll probably end up. Hey, let them be married day, two or three times. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty sure J-Lo hit up on um, Diddy. Mm. Probably did. You never know. But yeah, I mean, like you said, man, I mean, you don't know how money affects people because sometimes, you know, you can see all these 
all these celebrities have all this money, they still be sad and sad and all that, and they just want to find love. And sometimes they wish they were never rich because they can't even really find true love because everybody's fake. So she probably going through that. So yeah, you yeah but at the end of the day, get celebrity with money, man. She still has to, live. and that just mm-hmm. suck. You know, she that man just had a baby on him, man. That's oh, child, that one, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you can cheat, but when you have a baby on somebody, that's a whole different story, man. Hard, hard, hard to come back from that. Okay, that's a life. Nobody, nobody said God name like shit. One night stand can be a life changer. Shit, like what? Right, because they said he he hooked up with that girl his birthday weekend. Mm-hmm. He went to somewhere for I guess when they was playing basketball or whatever, and he hooked up with the girl. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you them one time. I'm gonna I don't know that. what I don't know what the girl got. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just having unprotected sex. Wrong. I don't care. I think it is. Me, me, me. Tristan said, fuck you rolling the dice. Yeah. Hey, you know, like because yeah. Cause he he been yeah. sloppy with it, you know what I'm saying? He been real yeah, okay. sloppy. He, he, I think he don't care. We, we know these other celebrities; they out here doing what they do, but a lot of people ain't getting caught up like that. And he just being real sloppy. She don't care. I, it's not like he don't care though, for real though. He knows she gonna take him back, so he don't care. True. Ain't nobody say. That's why everybody's like, why? Like everybody be like cheating. And since Jay Z cheated on Beyonce, everybody was like, "Well, it can happen to everybody." Then that day, everybody yeah, was course, yeah, at least we wouldn't have known till she said something. Um, well, we probably uh, they had he, that he, video of him in Cologne in the elevator. But he, um, oh yeah, but he he alluded to it on that song "Lost One." You know that song? That song on King Kong on "Lost One." He he said, but nobody didn't really pay attention to what he was saying. He said it before Beyonce. Yeah, he her, said it before. Yeah, yeah, he said yeah, he said way before that on Lost One. Go back and listen to this. Look at Jay Z Lost One. The Lost One. Well, still though, well, he at least the, the females didn't come out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of the you, them out. you know what I'm saying? If you say something, yeah, that's you're gonna die. You feel killing it. I know. So, so, yeah. <laughs> Confidentiality. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your twenty thousand. Please keep your mouth shut. Oh, they ain't think about it. Yeah, nah, they they don't give a damn about no NDA no more. <laughs> okay, Bill Clinton get caught, man. Anybody can get caught, man. Yeah, so, yeah president. Yep. Yeah. Shit. Sure. All right, going to. I'm about to say Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Good I ain't heard his name in a while since she's back on the market. And a lot of people flooding her uh, inbox. She done had a divorce, and you know, she married a preacher. And everybody was just all on that that whole relationship that she was making all these movies, and he was just a preacher, and everybody was always criticizing. So, they said it was just criticized. Criticized. That one was just. Yeah, I think that's the reason why, I mean, Jordan, the reason why they probably divorced, you know, because they were just that? not. Compatible people. No, I'm asking. They, yeah. saying it wasn't compatible. Yeah, they were. They weren't never compatible though. They're from. You could just say they weren't compatible. Like it just, just something like I don't know. She wanted something different. She thought she could try a different kind of guy, but they just weren't compatible. Sometimes that's why I say oh, you can't just blame somebody doing. She was doing them wrong. So it just like they weren't compatible. Like, you just can't be compatible with somebody. Some people. My yeah. thing is. He he knew how she was before he married her though. That's the thing. You I guess I know, he was big on. Yeah, think about it. She made good. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> he's a man, bro. He's a man to go pose. You got make it good, give you them damn eyes. You like fuck it. Let me go ahead and try it out. I mean, he's human. They put him at a pedestal because he's a preacher. But at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is the Lord. And all the you know, saying all these yeah. preachers, you already know this. Preachers, some preachers used to have the um some of the ladies in the church mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So I mean, but he, you know, so he's a rich man too. But you know, his congregation probably gonna 
leave and all that stuff. So he had to cater to them. So I know he just got tired of the stress. That's why sometimes you can't let everybody in your business in your relationship. Because I'm pretty sure he he misses her. And I'm pretty sure she misses him. But at the same time, they just got to go their separate ways. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the end of the day, we none of us really know what the real reason why they're divorcing. But mm. if he's basing it off of other people judging him, then he just he don't yeah, need to be married at all because who asked for the people divorce? People get judged regardless. Who who asked for mm. the divorce? Yeah, it said that he filed for the divorce. Uh, he did. Yeah, it said he he filed for the divorce. Hmm. That's why people were saying. If, I don't know if you was looking, but that's why people were saying that um, it probably was because of, you know, how she really is. Like, you know, if you go back to her movies and stuff, and they was like, she got this new show out, which I uh, <clears throat> I started watching. It's called Harlem, oh, and yeah. it's kind of like I don't know if y'all seen Insecure before. Um, it's kind of mm-hmm. like that um, kind of run. She like show a lot of little sex scenes. She, I haven't seen her like naked on there, but of course she's like kissing the guy and they talking, you know, kind of nasty or whatever. But I'm that's the thing, like she, she still got to live her life and she still got to make her money. You know what I'm saying? It's acting True. at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta, yeah. You gotta, um, yeah. I feel what you're saying. Well, shit, she um. Somebody called us out. He checked somebody when they was like, she doesn't need to be doing all that. He said, well, this is my wife. I, you know what I'm saying? I love her for her and all that. I mean, you gonna, if you're going to say that shit, you got to stand on that shit. But some people feel like people um, let people get in their head and they want their validation so bad, they'll, they'll stop doing what they love just to please the other people. And that shit don't really mean shit. So if right, he so did... Say so so what? You go ahead. I'm saying, cause I'm thinking you thinking he left her because she wanted to do a show and he just kept on forbidding it and all that shit. And she just said, I'm going to do what I want to do. I can't do this. I can't have my career and all that. And he probably said, we, we don't know me to do this. So I understand what you say about that because some people's careers get away, get in the way with other people. It's like, you know, so he probably was like, damn, we can't even do this no more. Yeah, you probably talked an interview where um, they was on stage or something, and a lady was telling her how she's a preacher's wife, but she be showing her boobs. Is that the one you're talking about? Titties. Who that? What the hell was this? Yeah. Oh, no. It was, it's, it's the one where they, they probably was at, like, one of those um, uh, religion-type conference-type things, and they was on oh, stage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, and the lady I remember was standing up yeah. out in the audience or whatever, and she was telling Megan how she, a preacher's wife, but she be showing her boobs, and then that's when yeah, her yeah. husband jumped in. He was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to yeah, do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Cause, cause I think somebody leaked her news or some shit, and then that whole debacle came about or some shit. The one that Hmm? That was a while back, but they have been married for some years, though. I was saying yeah, they've been married about back. five years. No, they've been married longer than that. I think oh, eight like years. Five. Oh, what? Wow. No, they've been married mm-hmm. longer than five years. Yeah, it's been a long, uh, a long time. Yeah, good uh-huh. little minute. Yeah, Close yeah. Ten years. She on. Um... I mean, sometimes you just got. Sometimes you got to compromise stuff, but sometimes people just like y'all said, ain't compatible. Like you could try to make it work, and I know sexes can cover up a lot of things, but once that runs out, then you got to go around. Exactly. She You're like, well, and I figure out who you is. Or do I really love you, or is it just a sex? Man, you got to speak is sex, it, but I hate you. <laughs> people, exactly. Or is it just honestly that people have their expiration date? Yeah, Ooh, that's good. Shit. You they think, do. You think about it? You think so? Yeah. I'm starting to yeah. I got it is. Day when they say nothing lasts forever, I'm starting to believe. I mean, of course, nothing lasts because we all got to leave this world, but I, I think nothing lasts forever. I mean, people, I think they make it last. Like You see these older generations, they still together. They making it last because they believe in their vows and they trying to stick with it, but 
these folks be ready to got them divorced. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's your nine day. People ain't on people ain't on stick around like that back in the day. You got too many options now. Like I said, just it's racing day. Like I don't care, like you like the sets be good, they're good for violin, just like I said, it's racing, just hey, it's just a time to move on. Like, no, it can't be like a lot of time, it don't even be black bad blood. It's just like hey man, this ain't it no more. Mm. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly starting to think that though, like legit, like for real. I mean, I know everything ain't gonna be, you know, sunny days and it's gonna be rainy days and shit. And sometimes, you know, some people can make it work fifty be married for fifty years or thirty years. But like y'all said, you know, that's that old love nowadays. You kind of yeah. everybody's guards up. Everybody don't trust nobody. Everybody know that everybody just has that hit. They already that automatic thought. I am not the only one they talk to until we make it a we become a I ain't I ain't been telling like I ain't been trying to make it work for no team. I ain't finna spend no team years trying to make it work. Fuck that shit. I'm gone. I ain't even Well man, y'all been together for five y'all been the I don't care. Like we can be together. I say make it work to the point where you can I mean how however long you can make it work, but don't like if it if it's just not working, just don't you know yeah, try and try and try and try. Just I mean, I guess just leave it as is. I mean, mm-hmm. if it ain't no if the spark is gone or you know. So, so if the spark is gone, would y'all try to reignite it or y'all just gonna leave it alone? Like how you gonna reignite it though? You be so it be that it be way because you've been having sex or doing shit with the same person like 30 years. Like <laughs> you gotta come up with some shit. I understand that that's probably why Will and Jada probably did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like right, the spark's gone, shit. You wanna bring another person in the room? Shit, all right, let's do it then. Then open up another chapter. All right, this is getting born. You just wanna go on vacations with that dude, I go on vacation with this girl. All right, let's do it. I'm open to another chat. No, I mean, no, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. You said you're not doing it. You're not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing. But you that. know what? Honestly, though, if we be honest, I think that's probably why folks do do that. You know what I'm saying? Like Will, Will and Jada, and that's why they're still together because they, you know, they get out with other people and do their thing. But that whole threesome thing, man. People, you can still invite other people to the room, but what happens when they when that person gone? You still got to deal with the same person you've been dealing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're going to be fantasizing about that person. <laughs> you're going yeah. to be fantasizing about the person that just left here. You're yeah, going to want to try to deal with that person. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, real, though. Yeah. That's just I mean, like, that's like... Right. Go ahead. I know. Nah, I don't know. I'm talking about some of the game. But they like, when that, like, if it went in, so that basically put things as sexual. Like what what happened to the com like when the conversation like you went with like just being around the person, sometimes you get to a point you don't even want to be around the person no more. Hmm. Yeah, bring another person yes. in a cure the sexual drive, but what about just being around this person? Like you get to a point like that, only like no a lot of dudes, people not dudes, but men and women don't be want to go home when you get to that point. Yeah. That's why, you know, people uh, have their little man cave or whatever. And mm-hmm. do, but hell, and, and that's exactly why a lot of older people sleep in separate rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Marissa said, she had like, people having se- uh, separate houses and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what Marissa also said, like, if she went my house in separate houses. Oh, damn, I don't even remember her saying that part. I don't think she said that. She probably said that. I said that as far as Yeah, you said that, yeah. Married? I don't know if I'm going to be married in separate houses, but dating, I definitely... No, I like my space. Yeah. You understand that? And I'm just saying, like, shit dies. What happens if it's, like, no negative reinforcement? Everything's all positive. Everything is no conflict. Would y'all get bored? And let's be honest. (laughs) Yeah, because I wouldn't get bored, but like people will. That's why people get bored. Like they said, the shit is if shit is good and great. They're gonna get bored, and that leads to cheating. That would uh, shit don't make sense, but that's that what they said. Mm-hmm. That's why toxic is so popular. Like 
good dudes and good women are not the thing thing now. You want the people want that adventure, want that that goddamn. Oh, I need something right by. I need something right on Facebook. Somebody agree with me on shit. People say they want something mm-hmm. good. They like. They say they want Russell Wilson. They don't want Russell Wilson. <laughs> they want future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah, like you said, that does make sense. So the adventure. Yeah, they just want no adventure. So, sure, so if a dude just, he's real nonchalant, he don't bring no negative and all that, would you get bored with him? I mean, honestly, I am being around that person, them, them getting on my nerves, I do get, yeah, that's why, that's why I say I like my own space. Yeah, so, I, mean, yeah. I, I think I'll be able to do it as long as we're not around up under each other, uh, up under each other twenty four seven. Gotcha. So, you, so, so you saying a lot of time, probably people like live together, they be together all the time. That kind of kills the drive a little bit. I mean, it, yeah, it, but if you're a person that just loves sex all the time and you just need it from different people, that I mean, it ain't going to work. But see, me, I'm good with one person. I don't got to have, that's why I'm single now, because I don't got to have this man, that man, or whatever. I'm good. Yeah. So, but if you a man that just so in love with women, or if you a female that just love dick, then it probably ain't going to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably. And that's called a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can say that if you want to. Yeah. Just, just predict, man. I said, yeah, yeah. High fish, right? You probably gonna get tired of the same dude. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. 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 yeah, sometimes you just gotta hold back and let that shit build up again instead of having back to back because then it start desensitizing. The next thing you know, it's the same moves over. You just gotta let that person miss you a little bit and build that shit up. I really right. Wish you- <laughs> but yeah, that that would be going on. Well, they don't like the gun, but I think people like the adventure though. You know what I say? They don't want no like the good part of people like yeah. shit. They would like they like to be goddamn scratched out. Putting say it like that. Bring a little excitement in. That's all. Like you said, when everybody was quarantined together, you saw all the folks broke everybody up. Broke up. <laughs> they haven't sex so many damn times. They're like, well, damn. Nah, you got to see a real person too, guys. <laughs> Man, I swear you seen real. I can't stand this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like right. you, based on sex. Yeah, what? yeah. If it's based on yeah, that shit. Then you got like, damn. When we having sex, I really don't like you. Man, yeah, say, and it, and you grow up and you just start realizing that because you know when you grow yeah. up, you're like, man, I can't wait to move out and be out all doing all this shit. The next thing you know, you just like, yeah, I just they wanna... hit it. like I said before, they hit it from us, man. We didn't know what was going on behind mm. closed doors. Mm. You know, we just did not know. Well, you see, no. now we it seemed like like I like we were saying on another episode, we are overly sex uh sex sexualized now. So yeah, we are like we don't we don't we don't focus on being a better, being a, a great mate, not not a great sexual partner, but a great mate, like that's a good partner. We put too much mm. on on um, being on goddamn, just being a good damn, like she a sex partner, not just good partner. Yeah, and that way that will fuck us up. Last one is true. Say what? Yeah, and yeah, like I said, that why shit don't laugh because shit, we just we have some good sex, but you a bullshit ass boyfriend or girlfriend. Person. How did yeah. yeah, in the person? Yeah, how did it work? Mm-hmm. Unless you a tourist. I think <laughs> A good person, both <laughs> still just like they said, got they their expression. They they just yeah, they just for something new. Yeah, not everybody. Like some you. some people. Yeah, because everywhere you see is nothing but you know what I'm saying. Sex, sex, sex. So I mean, everybody's gonna be overstimulated, and everybody's gonna be looking for eyes gonna be wandering somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Cause some people just can't. Some people can't hold their own. Some people could be a a one woman man or a one man woman, but at the same time, shit. Some people are just weak. They just gotta have weak in the flesh, like preachers. Yeah, that's all good. I mean, hey, buddy. Uh, they they were saying how he how can he really be a pastor and he's trying to divorce, you know, because they said in the Bible, you know, you're you almost bleed. Yeah, you don't believe in divorce. 
you know, folks believe in that thing. They say he he's not really a, a, a pastor of his word if, if that's because he's the one that filed for the divorce. But at the end of the day, man, regardless, man, these folks still human. Yeah. And I hate yeah. when people want to bring religion and stuff because at the end of the day, people gonna do what they want to do. You know, but if he if they they not happy, they not gonna stay together. Forget about forget what the Bible says. If they not happy, they not going You can't make yourself be with somebody that don't make you happy. True. And that's what people don't. That's what they fail to realize. Yeah. But you can't see that man ain't a, a, a good pastor because he didn't do what the Bible said, this, that, and the third, or whatever. But yeah. and making good, like she one of my favorites, man. Mine too. <laughs> God, <damn>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking I like about the dick, like, <laughs> just naturally, naturally beautiful. Yeah, like, yeah she naturally beautiful. Naturally beautiful. Yeah. And I was like. Like, I hate the day they divorced him, but I guess it is where it is. Yeah. Fresh, man. Like you said, they be putting religion, like, it'd be the people be judging, and they say in the Bible, the only person can judge you is God. So why are you judging mm-hmm. him or how he does it? He's a preacher. I understand he gets tax-free money from y'all and all that stuff and everything, but he's still showing you that he's human, that you can always mess up right. and sin, and God can forgive you. And if you're not happy, you know what I'm saying, just because we divorced doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It's probably open up a new chapter for both of them. But people love to take okay. negative shit and don't look at it, take it into a mm-hmm. positive message. So that's the world we're right. doing now. So yeah. yeah. Anybody else going to take on this? Well, I right. just want to say, regardless if you very religious or, you know, highly spiritual, that don't mean your marriage going to last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. They said that that's because you you married, you can be a, a person of God. Yeah, because be they always though. say put God put good put God first in your marriage. Everything gonna be fine. And I swear to God the day was going to seminars and praying on on uh Instagram and whatever websites they be praying on and look, look where they at after nine, eight, nine years. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, nobody's perfect, nobody's Jesus Christ, nobody's the Lord. And if the marriage doesn't work, just say, hey, in the Bible, they say we can have multiple wives. So moving on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the wives. He said this and that. Hey, that's the Old Testament. Yeah, that's the Old Testament. Well, okay, choose one. Come on now. Oh my! I say on Facebook, I guess they talking about with the pandemic and all this stuff. They said we better be. They said we better be in a new uh Bible, written in a new Bible. <laughs> better be in the New Testament. Everything that's going on better be in the New Testament. Uh, so. <laughs> Or they say in the next Bible, in the next Bible. Oh, in the next Bible, shoot. A lot has went on. Too much going on. So y'all think it's time for another shutdown? Yeah. So everybody getting sick around this one, huh? You said so what? I, well, I, I said they give me some money. I had went on uh, yesterday and got tested, and then mine came out negative. So I don't know if I just got a little cold going on or whatever, but... Praise God, praise God. That's good. Is, That's good. Yeah. When when I had went, I'm talking about all the stores was out of the um test. And then all the places like CVS and Walgreens, like they um appointments was like booked out. So I couldn't do like the same day. So I ended up finding um acute care off of Wildersy. And that was same day rapid test. And they charged me seventy five dollars. I think that's where I went to. Seventy five dollars. I think they did yeah. it for free at the time. Cause them yeah. motherfuckers, they did them. They did me. They said I was negative, and then it came back like a two weeks later. Said I'm positive. I'm like, huh? Oh, you went back to the same. Uh- Oh, 
sad. It seemed like it was. Yeah. It seemed like it was. It's the right time. You want to say fight you say it? Yeah, I went to that site there, Cute Care and Wizardly and shit. And then um, oh. I took it, and then it said it was negative. And then somebody mm-hmm. got exposed around my job, went back again. I said, well, let me just double take and just make sure it came back positive. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, shit. And I was I had to take three tests, and every time it came back positive. So I had that bitch for about, about a whole month, I was positive. That was like wow. when it first came out. So I don't know what they talking about. And look, they talking about they got another one called the, uh, what is it, the IHU? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's over in another country, in France or somewhere. Yeah. I was like, bro, what the fuck going on? Like, what are we going to do? It keep, it keep mutating, guy, man. Hey, man. Just, y'all just, hey, we probably need, I, I ain't going to lie, I sacrificed three months for them just to get rid of this shit. Yeah, but but it seems like people slowing down though. No, it's not going. It's not really going to get rid of because I mean people are not getting vaccinated. So no, well, I they saying that's why I keep getting these new variants because people are not getting vaccinated. I don't know how true it is, but I'm just going by what they say on the news. I got trust issues when it comes to the news. Maybe lying to me. <laughs> Yeah. I but got like trust saying, issues. Okay, Shots whoever was saying that's dying and down, my, though, because they're, they're not reporting on death as, as much as they used to. Mm. Yeah. What you saying, Trey? No, I'll just talk shit. But... What you think, Drew? Man, shut the bitch down, man. <laughs> shut the bitch shut down. down. Shut yeah. it down. <laughs> I mean, they said this is going to turn to the common cold if we just go, like, a few months. And, you know, people going to want their stimulus checks. You already know Joe Biden ain't going to do that no more. <laughs> what you got to but say it, to it Joe was, Biden? It was straight before it got cold. That one is yeah, like, it was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But then, like, it might pick back up in the summer like it did the first time. Yeah, but I won't go traveling and shit. I ain't going to lie, I'm going to pick and choose when I got to go. And... But they say the mask ain't working though. So what? So, so shit, if it's in the air, man. What is that? No well, shit. I don't know what y'all consider a shutdown, but I still had to work through the pandemic. But my job that I had. And with this job right here, I asked them, and they said they still had to work. So regardless, I'll still be working. Me too. Yeah, I work down the pandemic too. Me too. <laughs> awful, essential. Three <laughs> essential podcast, goddamn it! Look, they ain't get no damn hesitate or nothing. Working in the damn COVID. Detailing cars is not essential. Working around soldiers who leave different parts of the um country, and I ain't getting no hesitate. Ain't that some shit? That's some shit, Michael. Uh, Mm-mm. Here's your twenty-five dollar gift certificate. Mm, thanks, appreciate it. Bitch, that COVID. <laughs> exactly. 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 So, if it comes back down to it, shit, that's probably what's gonna have to happen. I mean, they should get because it was just like my whole timeline was everybody was sick, saying they were sick, and I saying what's their symptoms. Everybody going through a down bad and all that. Like, damn. So, I don't know. I don't know how much my immune system can take up with this shit. Can't even bother me. Yeah, I did what she did. That's great, too, but you just gotta get, be careful. Depending you know where you go and shit, but like everybody like saying, everybody was sick at the same time. Like, dang. Hell yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, we ain't gonna hang out no time soon. Hey, man. It's gonna come. Shut up. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> He's your buddy, Drew. You don't talk to your buddy. He's your buddy, Drew. Yeah, I met him first. <laughs> yeah, you met me. Yeah, you met him first. <laughs> yeah, crazy. But yeah. Uh, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. But the only thing is, what else we got? 
Governor Kemp wants to make it to where everybody in Georgia can purchase a gun without a license. You can do that anyway, though. I think that's an excuse. Can I purchase my gun without a license? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll carry what I do. But I think, yeah, they're going to be crazy. But I think that's how it is in Texas, though. You think it'll drop the own? The crime rate down? Everybody got a gun? Nah, it, nah, it, it, nah, it might, nah. It might, because you're going to think twice for trying to run up on somebody with a gun or try to break somebody um house with a gun or try to rob somebody. Because, like, you know, everybody pack be like Wild Wild West. So it might it might, it might, might drop it. It's going to make people think twice. Like, shit. You see this person walking around with a goddamn AK or something. You finna run up on that and try to <laughs> Hell no. He's kind of cool with that bitch. Yeah. I don't know. Bazooka. 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 Get trapped up around this bitch. For real. And what you said about the guns now? I'm sorry. You said what? What you said about the guns? Basically, Governor Kemp is trying to make it to where everybody can do consider uh carry guns without a license. Oh man, oh, hell no. <laughs> well that you saying <laughs> for that, but you yeah. You think it's gonna drop the um uh, crime rate if everybody has a gun? Yeah, John got a point. Anybody gonna be robbing no, no more stores? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, drop the crown. Yeah, if everybody, if everybody knew everybody had a gun, will it, will it like will people try to rob stores, rob people, or anything? If you knew that person had a gun, so yeah, so it Damn might help. No. See, it, it, when they say this, what in madness, it's some, it's some sense in, in his madness. What he's trying to do because it does will help. I don't know if that any and everybody get a gun. Nah, everybody can't get it. You got all oh, mental issues and some shit like that. Anybody get it. You're a convicted felon. Anybody get it. You can't do it. Yeah, they're going to do a background. Yeah, because they're going to do a background check on you before they say you're done Can't get over now. I think he's trying to do no. what everybody thought somebody can do with the drug. If you, like, all this crime over drugs, if everybody just sells all the drugs, the crime rate will go down because you're selling them. So if you get everybody a gun, basically it's whole nobody's gonna get a gun legally and all that shit, and everybody's gonna have be basically packed. So nobody's gonna try people as much. That's what he's trying to do. And sometimes that shit gonna work, and sometimes that shit probably ain't gonna work, and sometimes that shit just gonna backfire because somebody's gonna mm-hmm. be very tactical with that shit, and it could be a mass shooting, which is dangerous. Yeah, yeah but we hey, we going through that now anyway. <laughs> yeah. You can't run away from it because shit. Might as well just get, go ahead and go to the shooting range. Get tactical with that motherfucker. Yeah, go ahead and be like CJ in the in L. <laughs> Real grocery style now, CJ. This is a party. This is a party. Look at my oh. moves. They can't stop me. <laughs> Big smoke, baby. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> That was the most athletic shit he did all game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Them animations were horrible on that shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, man. But yeah, man. It's going to be a crazy year. I ain't going to say that. It's going to be a good year, but it's gonna, we're going to have some obstacles to go through. Yeah, they're just so like, man. Life is full of obstacles. You going to conquer it or let it conquer you? Hey, try. Strong words from a strong man. You going to do your 10 uh, year challenge? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you got dreads and yours. Yeah. 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 No, I, I can't put my shit. Now, yeah, no, I yeah, I know you did. You, you post yours, Drew? Uh, yeah, I, I did. <laughs> I ain't see it. I put mine up with them baggy ass jeans, boy. Boy. <laughs> you go, boy. Ooh, where are them baggy ass jeans? And then pull on some your bigger boy jeans. Uh, I, I said, damn, 1992 or 30 years ago. Ain't that sad? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Getting up there, but it's all good. It's all good. 
Yeah, man, time is rolling by. I know it's I, This month, we're going to be in 20, 2023. Yeah. <laughs> After January, oh, wait, time is rolling. My like motherfucker. You said who? Mike, did he graduate 07? I was graduating no Not 08. Don't forget, ain't you, Michael? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, because um, I was born in 89. I was born yeah. late 89, so I was in with the other 90 babies, early 90 babies. <laughs> that oh, you yeah, were. You <laughs> <laughs> it was no yeah. Andrew and C. Rich. Nah, that was because that teacher on. Um, didn't give me that 70 when I didn't pass my class. I got up out that bitch when they put me in that damn yearbook. I said, oh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday in October, right? Yeah, it's uh, late. Yeah, October 13th. October 13th. Though, because of how the school started. Yeah, school, yeah, school. Like, yeah, it cuts off, like, the, uh, like, the beginning of September. Like, that, I barely, like, I was supposed to be, because I'm a 90s baby, so technically I was supposed to be with the class of 08. But since my birthday was September, I think the cutoff date was like September 1st, September 2nd, around that time. So I ended up being 09 instead. Yeah, I was 08. My sister was so 07. Any, any babies like late or at the end of the year, they all, you know, consider yeah. birthday consistent. Yeah, we don't. All the fall babies are special babies, so yeah, we good. Yep. No but no, I was saying, like, um, posted on Facebook, they was like class of '07. We've been out of school for 15 years. I was like, damn, like <laughs> how did it go by so fast? Because I did not realize it been 15 years. Oh boy, I looked at Drew. I, was, oh, I, said, I told Drew, I said. I said, damn, 10 years? Damn, we was all at Red Robbins, whoa. <laughs> 10 years ago. Yeah. Get the rock. Yeah. You gonna get that table. I'm probably getting that table. What? <laughs> <laughs> I hate Quite that shit. What? Quite change. And then we, we, need bur- we need some burgers in the freezer before y'all clock out. Nah, it ain't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Go pick up burgers. It's <laughs> all mad. We got to grow up now, god damn it. I came back there one day, and then uh, the trash man was in the back with the trash. The trash was spilled all over the floor. He saw me. He said, "Drew, I'm glad you came. I'm about to quit." <laughs> well, fuck this I'm shit. About to quit. <laughs> oh, hell, this shit. shit. Then it was sometime. You know that shit was hot. Hey, Mike. What's up? What you doing? Uh, try about to kill Marker. <laughs> nah, I think because I was there. Late 2011, and then I uh, um, left around August to go to Fort Benning. <laughs> so I don't know what that what happened, but you told me about it. He said he about to kill his ass. Mark is Mark is cool, but he be wanting you to do too damn much. That's what I said. I'm going to be ready. He said when you get done with that, take out the trash <laughs> and trash in here. He said, "What the fuck you said?" <laughs> <laughs> No, I can I can't uh, work. I can't work no job to have a like a boss boss. I can't do that shit. Hey man, humble beginners. Humble motherfucker beginners. Shout out to Alan. Oh yeah. Shout out to Red Robbins. All that pocket <laughs> change y'all gave us. <laughs> <laughs> I almost busted my ass in the uh freezer he caught me. <laughs> me and that oh, nigga Drew made it. Man, that fifty dollar tip that night, nigga, was happy. You want this dollar? Sure. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hell yeah, but it's all good. Oh, before y'all go, quick question. Cause I saw this shit on TikTok. I said that'd be a dope ass question. If you could have one a one minute conversation with your past self or your future self, who would you talk to? Our future self. You said if you had if you had um what a one minute conversation with your past self or future self, self, which one you choose? It depends. What if I talk to the past, will it change my current future? No, just just talk and review. Yeah, no, I got to talk yeah, about future. future. Yeah, future. Yeah, I'll shit. I do. 
<laughs> All the shit I've done ain't no use of talking. <laughs> That's a weird yeah. question because I'm sure everybody will say their future self. I was saying, I was thinking, it was bad when they talk. I said, I was gonna talk to my future self. I don't know who, how it affect y'all. Way I can have a conversation with my past self, the way I used to act. Oh no, <laughs> no, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't change nothing in my past. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, no, has something either, but I wouldn't have a conversation because I thought I was hood. I don't know why I thought it was cute. <laughs> so you know the funny good. thing about it is when Cheryl came yeah. on this podcast, she was like, I ain't know y'all act like this. And then we got around her, you know, you act like this. Yeah, I did. Like, I always like like still trap music. Like I'm not into like any like booty shaking music. Nothing. Like, I always like like yeah, throwback music. Gangsta thuggish type music. But you thought you were hood for real back in the day. Yeah, I used to hang around people that had me hanging around in the hood, and I just I don't know why I thought they were cute. I I was still a good girl, but I still I I don't know. And I used to talk the way I used to talk. I'm sure y'all remember how I used to talk. I used to say folk a lot, call people folk. What up, folk? Yeah, you like me? Oh hell! (laughs) Damn, you damn sure did. God damn. (laughs) <laughs> Damn, so did. We still do that shit, though. You be laid back, what up, folks? And she used to say I was still back in 03. Oh, man. <laughs> man. God damn. You talking like that? Hell no. Oh, my God. We should be saying cuz. What up, cuz? <laughs> That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog, too, man. I, she I gonna hear this. She gonna cut my ass out. She said, she, she said, say that. I'm like, what's up, folks? What's up, folks? She said, say that. Yeah, she said, say that. She said, say that. She said, I've been knowing for me. Yeah, they said, I've been knowing she said. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't say that no more, but yeah, no, nah, I guess it was a conversation. And I used to be Lele back then. Lele. <laughs> oh, Lele. And, and people still call me that. When I, you know what I'm saying? People I run into, they'll, you know, they used to call me that. They'll, I, now, I won't say anything, but uh uh-uh. uh. Now it's Tell now. Tell or Sule. Not, not them Lele. <laughs> yeah, I don't. no nickname like that. Yeah, yeah, good old Columbus Tech days. Can't beat them. <clears throat> Nothing but roasting and listening to Gucci, man. So. Gucci. I had to be called Kamisha, though, right? Yeah, I met, man, I met you. Yeah, yeah, we are. Uh, Kamisha. Kamisha, oh, yeah, Kamisha, yeah. Yeah. I just came in, played spades, talked shit, and went to class. That about it. I'm a tech, uh, legit. Y'all remember uh, the Parker? When P, uh, did y'all used to watch that show? The Parker? Yeah. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. Columbus Tech. Me uh, go and sit in the uh, little thing. What's it called? Yeah, Stu Sim. Stu Sim. Stu Sim. Stu Sim. Stu Sim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wild ass days, boy. <laughs> Wild. I ain't getting no pill, man. <laughs> and you're the only one. Yeah, bro, I ain't getting no pill, man. Boy, can we quit, man? Yeah, huh? God damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hey, man, your dad was annoying me. Here's your little chick. Go have an education. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, everything going to be good though. Anybody else got to say anything? Words of encouragement? Or final say? Um, fuck them niggas. Who are those niggas? Anybody who doubts you. Anybody you heard some trick. <laughs> That's right. You don't fuck with Jen Talk. <laughs> so, 
So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all tuning in with us. This is the first episode of 2022. We got more stuff coming in store for y'all. So, just stand there and watch us make these moves. So, as always, we in the jungle, baby. We like monkeys. <laughs> You're listening to Jan Talk. Go. We in the jungle, baby. Number one.